Good afternoon, fellow Rhymos. Uh, today is November 6th, which means our daily word count is just over 10,000. We've reached the big first uh, thousand goal, and right now at 1.13 my time, I stand at 11,214. Saturdays are good days because I run a writing group with my dad uh, in Jamestown, <coughs> excuse me, and we get a lot of writing done because the second half of our two-hour meeting is dedicated only to writing. So I got a chance to get a lot of words down, which is nice because I'm going out to celebrate a friend's birthday tonight. So um, thank you for all the comments on Writer's Block. Uh, it's really interesting to hear from everybody and see what everyone else thinks. Got comments like music, um, just sort of writing, which is always good, and it's something that my dad says a lot, is that in order to get out of writer's block, you just have to keep writing. And it doesn't matter what you're writing. You can just sit there and write on the paper, I don't know what to write, I don't know what to write, I don't know what to write, over and over and over again, until finally your brain rebels against you and is like, you must write something else, anything else. So I agree, that is a good way to get out of writer's block and do all that sort of good stuff. Personally, <clears throat> um, I don't really have a method for getting out of writer's block, which is part of why I asked. But because I just sort of sit there and stare at the page and, and force myself to continue on. Because I'm one of those writers that can't write out of a linear fashion. If I'm writing a book, then I have to start at the beginning and go all the way until the end. And of course, all the professionals and whatnot say that one of the best ways to uh, write is just write what comes to you and, and you don't have to write linearly and you can just go back and forth. But I've never found that particularly useful because a lot of times I don't know my plot well enough to do that. <clears throat> um, so we run into problems like I write scene, like if I have 20 scenes, I'll write scene one through five and then I'll write scene 18. But when I go back to write scene six, by the time I get to scene 18, scene 18 is completely incapable of existing. So... That's one of the problems that I run into. But word count's still going well. Uh, my soundtrack, as it were, has drifted rather sharply to Chopin, but I'm finding him very inspirational, which is nice. And I'm spending a lot of time in the uh, mansion, as it were, with the story. So that's probably working well. Um, I actually just got out of not really a piece of writer's block, but something that I wasn't quite sure how I was going to take care of. And I've been given sort of my first major event at the house, which is nice. Um, and I'm excited to write it because it's got some really nice potential. So I'm going to write a little bit more uh, and then probably take the rest of the afternoon to do something else and just sort of give myself a break from the novel. But I will, of course, be back on Sunday and I will be writing again and I will vlog and do all those fun things. So my question to all my viewers today is can you write in a linear fashion or do you find it better to sort of write out of order? Um, <clears throat> like I said, I have to write linearly, but I know my dad doesn't. He just writes whatever scene that comes to mind. So leave a comment or a video response and let me know. And I will see all of the rest of you tomorrow.